A grieving family says it was bad enough losing their rock music loving grandfather to coronavirus. It's worse that the senior care facility where Stephen Morger stayed wouldn't acknowledge how severe their outbreak was. There are 17 deaths reported at that Well County facility. And Morgan's daughter believes more could have been done to save each one of them. And she's speaking tonight with Denver 7's Addie Guajardo. Music and family, a duo that got Stephen Morgan moving. Pretty much anybody that knew him knew that he loved playing the trumpet. Um, he was a musician. And a grandfather. Until he got sick, that was literally his life was his family. The last two years, Morgan called Centennial Healthcare Center home. It's where his health declined, landing him in the hospital in ICU, where he tested positive for COVID-19. I was able to hold his hand and say goodbye and talk to him, and he was fully sedated, but he did respond. He squeezed my hand a little bit, and he looked at me, and that was really hard. Were you aware? of all these deaths. And when I called, they acted like it was the first case. A spokesperson with the health care center confirmed 21 deaths during a 20 day span. 17 are connected to COVID-19. Four were not tested. Hey, the coroner's the one that told me that his roommate is the one that he contracted it from. And I guess that's what's frustrating. So far, 21 staff members have tested positive for the virus and 33 residents. Some have since recovered kind of shows me that maybe not enough was done when it came to the PPE. In a statement, the facility says they are providing appropriate personal protective equipment, assessing staff health and working closely with the health department to protect their residents. Ashley says she's not blaming anyone, but hopes to spark a change in the care center by sharing her story. I'm never going to see my dad again. Addie Guajardo, Denver 7.